Hey gang, today I'm back in Titusville, Florida. We're fishing the Indian River. Captain Brian Pounds is on the fish. He's gonna put me on him. Whatever you do, don't touch that dial. It's gonna be off the hook. movement right there just past it you see it Ooh. right in the boat there. I think every time I've been here and I, you know I fished here quite a bit back in the tournament days it's always been a mullet key deal at least for me, if the mullet, you know, if you weren't on a flat or on an edge with a good amount of mullet, it just wasn't very productive. It's the third one. Come on. I find it's best if you just relax and fish. <laughs> if you get all wound up tight, seriously, if you get all wound up tight, it won't happen. Just fish, have fun. We're, we're just fishing, dog. The shoreline, mullet, lures, Titusville. Redfish. Simple game. What we're doing here this morning is we're working a pretty shallow shoreline. The shoreline's covered in mullet, got a lot of bait on it. I almost always like to start with a quarter ounce jig head. To me, the quarter ounce jig head helps me keep my baits in the strike zone longer because it's a little heavier, because I tend, personally, I tend to work my baits a little too fast sometimes. A quarter ounce, a little heavier, helps me keep it just above the grass. But because we're fishing so shallow this morning, we're picking up grass on every cast, every other cast, and I think that's kind of messing me up. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the change, and I'm gonna go to an eighth ounce jig head, give me a little less drop, and help me keep it a little more above that grass. A lot of times, you know, on a natural presentation, if you're all grassed up, the fish see that right away and they just won't attack it. So what you want to do is make sure that you're not, you're fishing a jig head that's right for the conditions. What Brian's going to do, Brian had a quarter ounce jig head on as well. He's going to go to a weedless weighted bass hook. And this will almost completely eliminate his issue with the weeds. So we're gonna try both of these, the eighth ounce jig head, lightening up my jig head, and going weedless and see which version works the best, and then we can go from there. Remember, when you're fishing with a buddy, you know, we're even throwing two different colors this morning. We're throwing mirror lure little johns, but we're throwing two different baits just to kind of see which one may work. That way, you're not both throwing the same thing. Sometimes you go into an area, both guys are throwing the exact same bait. Maybe that color is not what they're looking for. You think there's no fish in there. But if one guy throws dark, one guy throws light, one guy throws new penny, one throws red copper flake, you can kind of mix it up a little bit and see exactly what they're keying in on. It'll help you catch a lot more fish. Fixing to get my Titusville redfish fix on right here. Boy, he almost went to the trolling motor, didn't he? Oh, he's going under the boat. Stay out of there. Nice fish. Boy, he lumped that little John. Look at that. That is a beautiful redfish. Water temps are down, obviously. Did you see the energy level? Yeah. Yes, they're cool temperatures. We've wow. had. Got them, got them really going. That bull bay rod all bent over, dog. Good fish. High slot. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Look at the color. Yeah, I got him. I got him. Come here, I'm trying to give you some slack there, B. Nice fish, that a boy. I'm telling you, just absolutely lumped it. Huh? Oh, Look there at that. he is. How pretty is that? Huh? Look at that. Indian River Red. Good color. Look at that blue tail part of the bottom of the tail's all blued up. Pretty. Look at that grass. He even got grass in his yap. Got a little goatee kicking. Yeah. 
That is some really tough grass. All right. Good stuff. That a boy. That a boy. Get him in the water. That a boy. Get him revived. Get him back. See you, dude. Hey, uh, it's one nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that one messed with me too because it literally, it ate and swam at me doing like 30. You know, so I felt the thump and then it just swam at me and I was just trying to catch up, catch up as fast as I could. Great fish. That is a great morning opener. You know, we had some rain this morning. We got overcast skies. Absolutely incredible conditions though. It's still pretty hot. It's late in the fall. Air temps have been really, really high lately. Water temps have come down a little bit. Fish have a lot of energy. Perfect day to do this. If we can keep the rain off us, this is going to be absolutely amazing. Hey gang, this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you about a real game changer for me. You know, I've been guiding on Tampa Bay for over 15 years now, and Tampa Bay is a real busy body of water. There's a, a lot of fishermen there, wade fishermen, boaters, all kinds of stuff. The fish see a lot of different things. They see a lot of live bait, a lot of artificials, they get a lot of pressure. It's really important that I make a long, long cast to get where I need to get. One of the game changers for me. Spiderwire Ultracast Invisibraid. This stuff is unbelievable. It's the thinnest, strongest, most sensitive super braid on the market. It's absolutely unbelievable. It allows me to get another 25, 30, sometimes 40 feet on my cast. Makes all the difference in the world. Plus, it's super strong. So in situations where I would normally use a 15 pound braid, I can drop down to the 10. Again, getting that extra distance when I'm fishing for sensitive bite fish like snapper, sheephead, things like that. Nothing better than Spiderwire Ultracast Invisibraid. You gotta try a spool of this stuff today. I promise you, it'll be a game changer for you. Little trouter. Little guy. Jumped all over that, no? Now, if you had a hot dog bun, I'm just kidding, he's illegal. I can't believe that's the first one we caught. Don't handle him, that's much better. I think it's so important to try to put together a good package. If you like to throw artificials, it really pays off to, to spend some money and get a good rod a good reel, something with a solid drag, and then don't be afraid to put good braided line That's on it. Because it. it really, I mean, feeling that thump as it was coming at me was really key to me catching that fish. I felt him eat it, and then everything kind of goes limp because he's swimming at you. But the bite is so significant when you have quality things in your hands, quality products in your hands, that you can really still catch a lot of those fish. Been a pretty tough morning so far. You know, we pulled into Titusville this morning and it was raining and it was only supposed to be a 7% chance of rain. We kind of had to hang out at the dock this morning for a couple hours, kind of let some storms blow through. We got out a little bit later than we wanted to. We've got some serious cloud cover still, been kind of hanging over us all morning. It's been a really tough bite. We've been in the mullet and in the bait all morning. We got one really nice redfish so far. We've moved to another shoreline here again. A lot of mullet, the water looks a little cleaner. We've been fighting a lot of grass this morning. Um, there's not quite as much grass in this area, so hopefully we'll change our look a little bit and see what uh, Mother Nature gives us here. That's two that we've had right here, though. I've had two strikes that were, like they thumped it, but they were kind of short strikes. Yeah, you know? it's kind of. They just don't seem like they want to commit to it. There he did. Got him. Yeah, that time he committed. Oh, he chased yeah. that one down. He hit it and then chased it down. It's a good fish. That's a really good fish. He's swimming at me a little bit. They like to charge here, don't they? Yeah, they charge do. the boat. <laughs> Let's just charge the boat. Ah, uh, yeah, that's oh, a that's, really oh, good yes. fish. That's a really big fish there. 
That's a good one there, but not a boy. He's gonna go under the boat. So weird. Stay away from love, the trolling boat. They love to get underneath that boat. Yeah, they do, don't they? This one's a dandy here. On my light, <laughs> on that 15 pound class rod. Put up a good fight. They're all bent over. Look at that one there. Hmm? Look at that beauty. What a pretty fish. Come here, pumpkin. Stay here. Pumpkin. You gotta talk oh, what did we get that time? Skunk monster. Come here, pumpkin. Oh, look at that thing, huh? Pretty spots on it. Look at that. Trying to give you slack there. Ah, you it. It's like I got a pretty good hook in it. There you go. Nice, nice. Look at that. Look at the, you can tell. I guarantee you there's some, there's some shrimping or something going on. Cause look how, look at that coloration right there. And they're eating some crustaceans, some crabs or something milling around. Cause there's some serious green blue right there, isn't it? Yeah. Nice fish. Nice fish, that a boy. Look at that, huh? That's why you come right here. Indian River, Titusville. Great fish. Great fish. Awesome. And I missed a couple. We should have had a couple more <laughs> coming across there. Nice fish. Nice job, Brian. Real Animals Tackle Box. Brought to you by CCA Florida, the CCA Star Tournament, and Fish Brain, the app for fishermen. In today's Real Animals Tackle Box, Captain Brian and I are using 7 foot 6 inch medium heavy fast action Real Animals Signature Series spinning rods by Bull Bay Rods, Quantum 30 and 40 smoke spinning reels with 15 pound and 10 pound spider wire ultra cast invisibrate. We were using 25 pound Berkeley Prospect fluorocarbon leader. We were throwing Mirror Lure Little Johns in watermelon, red glitter, with a quarter ounce jig head, and cut mullet on 5 aught circle hooks. Real Animals Tackle Box is brought to you by Quantum, the real choice for the real animals. Mirror Lure, the record setters. Ingle Coolers, the first, the best, your last. Bull Bay Rods, combined with original Fuji guides for a difference you can feel. Spider Wire, nothing gets away. Ray Marine, Go hunting underwater. Dorado Boats, built to last a lifetime. Real Animals Tackle Box, brought to you by CCA Florida, the CCA Star Tournament, and Fish Brain, the app for fishermen. This point right here, and there's some good sand holes right there along the shore. Okay. We may, I'll throw out a piece of cut bait, and if you want to throw a jig maybe, once we get past this, because with that, those, uh, like one palm tree here, mm -hmm. They've been kind of staging up in that little pocket too. Okay. I told you there's a whole bunch of them in here again, swimming right at the boat. Nice fish too, Brian. Boy, look at the head shake, it's crazy. Look at the rod tip. <laughs> look at the dance on that rod tip. That fish did not like it when that bait bit him back. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. Look at that, look at that color. Bronze coming at you. Boy, these are nice fish, Brian. What a great fishery. Just lumped it. Oh, look at the spots on that one. Yeah, that one's got some killer spots. Look at the spot pattern. How cool one, is that? Two, three, four. What's it got on the other side? Three. It has seven spots. Pretty cool. That'd be in the money. That'd been in the money in a spot tournament. You bet. Look at that, huh? Awesome. Nice fish. I'm telling you, if I were you, I'd put that color on. Mirror Lure Little John's getting it on them right there. They're liking that Little there John right here. Hey, my boy. Nice fish, kid. I'll tell you what, I really believe the key is getting in some of this. Like you said, when we pulled in here, this water is just a touch cleaner than where we were. Right. And I don't care where I'm at, Louisiana, where the yeah. water's you know, normally dirty anyway. If you can find it a little bit cleaner, that's where the fish seem to be happy. happy. And that's exactly what we found coming through here. A lot of bait, a lot of mullet, a little bit cleaner water, a lot less grass, loose grass right here. I think they're having a, 
an easier time seeing our baits, and then boom, 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 fish, fish, fish. Good stuff right there. As the afternoon's going on here, the wind has picked up a little bit. And Brian's been kind of waiting all day because with his clients, he's been doing really good fishing a piece of cut mullet. We're fishing on a five odd circle hook. Same setup, right now we're using the 15 pound spider wire ultra cast. We're using a piece of 25 pound pro spec leader. And again, a five odd circle hook. And we've gone to a cut mullet. This morning, we didn't have much breeze at all. And Brian doesn't like to do the cut bait thing unless he's got some breeze. So as the afternoons kind of wore on and we caught some really nice fish throwing the Mirror Lure Little Johns this morning, but now this afternoon we finally got some breeze. We're gonna roll into some of these areas, see if we can't catch one of them big slobber knockers on a chunk of cut mullet. Usually they can't turn it down. Look at here, look at here, look at here. Yes, sir. Boy, that circle gets in there good, Yes, it? it does. Boy, you were right. Sitting on the porch. I would never do you wrong, brother. <laughs> I know you wouldn't, my friend. <laughs> you haven't done me wrong all day. Did he slam it or did he just kind of pick no, it up? No, he really? lumped it. Once it got over the top of that cut mullet, it just lumped it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, he's a good, good fish. Good fish. Pretty fish. Boy, the energy level on these beasts is unreal. Look at that bad boy, huh? Pretty fish. Healthy fish. Nice slot fish here in this, this whole shoreline today. We've been playing with those nice slot fish. You don't do a good job turning that down. Oh boy, nice. I think I can reuse that bait. Closed captioning brought to you by Gator Ford. Real Animals Hook It and Cook It brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. Hey gang, today I'm at the Rumfish Grill. I'm on St. Pete Beach here in St. Pete Beach, Florida. We're at the Guy Harvey Outpost. We're with Chef Aaron. Aaron, what are we whipping up today? Well, we're going to do a little salad. It's a shrimp remoulade salad. Sounds great. We're going to do a little bed of iceberg lettuce. We're gonna mix the shrimp up with the remoulade sauce. Remoulade, French sauce, basically a homemade mayonnaise. Uh, it's an emulsion of oil and uh, some citric acid, lemon juice, Creole mustard, green onion. And we're gonna do this on top of a potato salad. This is a somewhat of a Creole mustard influenced potato salad. Peppers, onions, Looks tasty. Mayonnaise, celery. So we're gonna make a little bed there. Tomato's gonna go on top of the, pota the potato salad. This is cut six times. I'm gonna open it up here. It's gonna cooperate. Shrimps go on top of that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna finish this with some pea tendrils. Basically the beginning of uh, the shoots that come out of the pea. Chef Aaron, that looks fantastic. For this recipe and more, go to our website. The Real Animals Hook It and Cook It, brought to you by Rumfish Grill at the Guy Harvey Outpost. Now, is the water up in the river right now? I guess it's kind of somewhat average a little bit right now, but um, a couple weeks ago it was up. But once January gets here and we start getting a lot of cold fronts and a lot of strong blows, the water will empty out of here pretty quick. What, do you have a big tide here? This isn't tide driven. It's There's really no wind tide, driven, wind, wind driven, and right? rain driven. Okay. It's like the same way Mosquito Lagoon. Wind and then and how rain. do you guys dictate, you know, on the West Coast for me, you know, if somebody calls up and says, hey, I want to, you know, we want to book a day. What do you have? As I look at my days, I look at my moon phases to try to get my best tides tide, for whoever's correct. calling. So how do you guys dictate what's going to be a better day? Are you still on the moon phases? Or are you still on, I, I mean, how do you guys read that without a tide? You know, I kind of look at it as bass fishing. You get up early, go late. But in the summertime, <laughs> you know, it's so unpredictable to do it with the thunderstorms we have. Hey, that's how you close a day, kid. That's how you close a day right there. Never give up. Never give up. 
Keep fishing them, baby. Keep fishing them. Caught a bunch of nice fish on mirror lures. Bite slowed down, changed it up a little bit, went to some cut mullet. Captain Brian Pounds getting her done. Titusville style. Another nice fish. All day long, just really, really nice, healthy fish in this fishery over here. Really something else. Come here, buddy. Would you grab that thing? I'm trying to. <laughs> <laughs> Kung Fu grip on him that time. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Woo, nice fish, bud. Look at that. All right, just cut it. Yeah, just cut it. Better to cut them than yep. try to do surgery. Always. Was it they got an 80% chance? Oh, and a circle hook. Yeah, of living. You know, they, they get them usually right in the corner of the mouth. But every now and then they'll swim on top of one and just get it. And that's just the way it works. Now, this, all the fish we've had all day, crazy spots. Yeah. This one just won. One spot. Yeah. There you go, that's pretty, huh? Huh? Thank you for showing up. Thank you for showing up. That's real animal style right there. Good fish. Good stuff right there. Yeah, what a boy. Fish. There you go. I'm back in the water. Send you on to the crib, buddy. Oh, grow up, we'll catch you next time. Oh boy B. And he is gone. Nice job, kiddo. Yes, sir. What a great day on the water. Captain Brian Pounds. Pleasure. What a great day. Yes, absolutely, sir. Awesome. Absolutely fantastic. Got the mirror lures going, got the cut mullet going, fishing here in Titusville. Absolutely fantastic. We certainly hope that you enjoyed this week's episode as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. I'm Captain Michael Anderson reminding you that whatever you do, don't let your kid be the one that got away.